Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add product collections to your Shopify store. I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step for how to create a product collection. And then I'll be showing you three ways you can display those collections in your store. I'll show you a beginner-friendly way. Then I'll show you the most common way people display their product collections. And then I'll be showing you an advanced way you can actually create a categories page within your store. This is gonna be a perfect method for if you plan on selling dozens or possibly hundreds of different products. This is perfect for if you have many different categories and subcategories for your products. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Okay, first you're gonna open Shopify, then click products, then collection. Here is where you can create new product collections. Here you can write the title and you can also put a mini description of the collection. And this is optional, but under image, you can upload a picture to represent this collection. Under collection type, you can select manual or automated. This is for if you would like to manually add products to this collection. And when you click automated, this is where you can set the default for the collection to automatically include certain products. I'm gonna set this to product type. And for the product type, I'm gonna put home decor. This way, this collection will automatically recognize any home decor products under this product type. Now to set the product type for your products, here on Shopify, you're gonna click products. And then when you add a new product or open an existing product, right here under product type is where you can type in home decor. And once you do that, that product will automatically sync to the home decor collection. Then you're gonna click save. Next, when you open your Shopify theme, right below your main banner, I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna import a collection list. A collection list is how you're gonna display each of your product collections. Under heading, you can retitle this section. Then when you click on a collection, you can select each product collection you would like to feature. Then you'll want to enable the view all button if your store has more than three collections. And this way, when customers are on your store, they'll be able to click on these displayed collections and it'll show them which products are included. And when they click view all, this will take them to all of your collections. And this is one way you can easily display your product collections here on your homepage. Next, I'll be showing you how to feature your collections page on your navigation bar. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click online store, then navigation. You're gonna open your main menu and click add menu item. Here, I'm gonna click collections, then click all collections. And this way people can easily access all of your collections from your navigation bar. Next, I'll be showing you how to create collection covers in case you would like the titles to appear on the pictures of the collections. To create those collection covers, here on Canva, I'm gonna click custom size. And if you want, you can do square image dimensions, which would just be 1000 by 1000 pixels, but I'll be doing my pictures and portrait. So I'll be doing 1179 by 1473 pixels. When you click uploads, then upload files, this is where you can upload your product photos onto the page. Then I'm gonna click text and upload a text box. And here you can type in the title for the collection. Next, you're gonna download this. Back here on Shopify, you're gonna open that collection and right under image is where you can upload that new collection cover. And this will be a lot more visually user-friendly since your customers will easily be able to assess each collection. By the way, if you're interested in this demo website I'm using, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made downloadable Shopify theme for in case you just don't have time to design your website. This one is designed for dropshipping stores, but it's also adaptable for many different types of online e-commerce stores. I have many different Shopify theme templates designed for many different niches of businesses. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. These are editable website templates that you can add your photos and your products to. I have many different types for makeup, clothing, dropshipping businesses and more these shopify templates will help you save a ton of time from designing your website from scratch i will link these website templates in my description box below all right and then i'll be showing you how to create a more advanced categories page for your store i'd recommend this option if you plan on selling many different types of products on your shopify store and you're going to need subcategories within each of those categories first we're going to need to create a page within your store here on shopify you're going to click online store then pages i'm going to click add page and i'm going to title this the categories page and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this page is visible. Then you're gonna click navigation and open that main menu again. Then I'm gonna add another menu item and I'll just be adding a link to this new categories page. Then here on Shopify, you're gonna open that page and this is where we can begin laying out the page. First off, I'm gonna click on this section and I'm gonna be hiding this. You can leave that visible if you would like. Then I'll be importing a rich text section. I'll be titling this the name of a collection. 
Then right below that, I'll be importing a collection list. I'm going to remove this heading, then increase the number of columns to 5. And you can leave the number of columns to 3 or you can increase it to 4 if you would like. You also want to enable the swipe on mobile. Then you can go ahead and click select collection and select each collection that you would like to display under your beauty category. And as you can see, this will give you a nice simple layout for if you have categories within your store and subcategories. And you can just add more of those collection lists to feature all of the collections within that category. Then to create more of these, you're just going to click on these sections and duplicate them. And once you're finished, that's how you can create a subcategories page within your website. And here's how the mobile version is going to appear. Next, I'll be showing you how you can add those subcategories to your navigation bar. Here on Shopify, you're going to click navigation and open that main menu. Then when you click add menu item, click collections and you can actually link a specific collection. And then you're going to add another menu item and you can select one of your collections within that home decor category. Then you're just going to drag it up here and list it right below the home decor bar. This way it will be listed as a subcategory. Then when customers are here on your website, when they click on that drop down, they can select a specific category. And on your menu, you can add as many of these as you would like. Then if you would like to simplify the view of this menu, you're going to click on your header and under desktop menu type, you can apply the drawer menu. This way it will seamlessly hide away your menu. And when customers click this icon, this is where they can view your menu. Then I'll be showing you how you can add quick links to those collections without using pictures. So for an example, in case you don't have pictures of your products just yet, you can use this method. Here on Shopify, you're going to open your Shopify theme and click Add Section. Here I'll be importing a multi-column. I'm going to increase the number of columns to 5. Then when you click on a column, I'll be removing the heading text and the description. And under Link Label, you can type in the title for that collection. Then you can insert a link leading to that specific collection. And you can repeat that for these remaining columns. Then I'm going to set this to color scheme 5. And you're going to click theme settings, then colors and open color scheme 5. Here I'll be applying a gradient background. And I'm going to set this to one solid color. Then for the background, you can set this to the color that you would like these individual backgrounds to be. And that's how you can create a quick link section that leads to your collections. I'd recommend putting this kind of section mid-roll in your homepage or at the very bottom of your homepage. And again, if you would like to change the column backgrounds, you can adjust those right here by clicking on background. And for the very last step, you'll want to make sure to add links to your categories pages in your footer menu or your footer navigation bar. Here on Shopify, I've opened online store. Then you're going to click navigation and open your footer menu. Here I'm going to click add menu item and you can go ahead and add a link to that categories page. A few tips for your footer menu. I would recommend adding a link to your home page. You're going to want to make sure you have a search bar and you're going to want to put links to each of your shop policies. I'd also recommend adding a link to your contact page. And for any other pages that you might have on your website, you can add those here. So if you have an about us page, a blog section, I'd recommend just organizing those right here at the bottom of your website. Then here in your Shopify theme, under sections, you're going to scroll all the way down and right under your footer section, this is where you're going to click add block. And here you can import your footer menu. I like to remove the heading and you can also insert some other types of links. I'd recommend inserting your logo on the footer. And you can do that by clicking image and under image width, you can increase the size of your logo. To complete that, I'm going to import another block and this is just going to be a text section. And here is where you can put a little mini description of your brand. And that is how you can complete your footer section. 
And once you're finished, those are a few different ways you can add categories to your Shopify store. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates, and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothes and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. And if you're interested in how to design a product page, I do have a tutorial for that here on my channel.